what's cracking everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Train Sim World 2. Today we are back on St. Patrick's Day, continuing with that American theme, uh, short theme thing. And we are here in the AC 4400. Does anything come after that? I don't know. AC 4400. And uh, we're going to drive it and it's in CN livery. So let's hop straight in. Let's get the reverse on. Uh, headlights, bright auxiliary, everything off. Then we need to cut, uh, no, no, uh, no, not measured mile, exit. We need to get air brakes to that and that. Save changes. And then we need to turn the U on. Step lights on, gauge lights on, and get moving. So we're going down the hill, and yeah, it should be a pretty fun run. So if we get moving. I'll go full power, and we're just a light, a double light loco today, just speed things up. Nice. And cruise down this hill. Cruise down at about 80 miles an hour, and we're going the 12 miles to Cumberland. And we're going to stick it in the hobby yard. Where is the hobby yard? It's uh, pretty, pretty early on. See so how we're going to dump it in there. Uh, we might want to set some other points first. So we're going the right way. Okay. That's all going the right way. You're going the right way. You're going the right way. Anything else that we need to check? I hope I'm not speeding. Uh, you need to be like that. Nice. Oh god, that was close. Look at that. We will apply a touch of independent brake just to try and hold it. And maybe a little bit less. 6% independent just to hold it at 79. Good stuff. Let's grab some screenshots. Let's grab them through. This is a fantastic livery. This is one of the best ones I've seen for this train. Not that I've seen many. Look at that. Look at that. So yes, good stuff. General housekeeping things. Um, I've said this in a few previous videos. Uh, I believe that this is not going to be a premiere. I could be wrong about that. If this is a premiere and I've just said I believe this isn't a premiere, I'm going to look completely stupid. Um, but such is life. Uh, May 10th? When is May 10th? No, so this will be coming out on the 13th. I'm recording this 18th of April, literally. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm making these loads in advance. Just going to touch off the brakes there. Um, so yeah, if I, I might, I'm aware I've said this in previous videos, I might start to do a little bit of train simulator at some point, but uh, if, if you want to see some train simulator, let me know and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I can work on that front. But for the time being, maybe that might be in a month or so, uh, a week or so. Uh, for the time being, it's just going to be Train Sim World 2, because... comfortable making these, it's not super difficult, and uh, I can make them make them well and make them uh, quickish. I mean, it's, it's a change of the routine once you get into making different types of videos. That's why I focus my videos all on one topic. Okay, I'll apply a little bit of brakes for the 55. Are we already down here? Oh god, we are. Okay, like a lot of brakes, please. Come on, train. Is there a point to adding the... Oh, that was bad. Okay, bail everything off. That should hold it there. Add a touch of independent as well. Nice, good stuff. Uh, so yes, I uh, might do some train simulator at some point. I might, uh, you know, the Portsmouth direct line or the Metropolitan line. Um, 
grab my eye. But yeah. I'll, I'll leave them further down the track. Also, if you do enjoy, if you are enjoying the video so far, make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And it, uh, yeah, motivates me to create more content. It's completely free. You can always change your mind. Blah blah blah. I'm just copying Dream. Uh, dream the cheat. What else is there? What else? Um, uh, oh yeah, I was, um, I was toying with going back to Train Sim World 2020 and seeing if I could make some stuff on Northeast Corridor. Uh, because there are a few reskins for Northeast Corridor. Let me just get full throttle back up again. There are a few reskins for Northeast Corridor. Not many though. I'll turn the, the headlights just to bright. I can probably just put them on dim. So there, there are a few liveries for Northeast Corridor, not super a lot though, because they're the legacy reskin type. Um, but there are definitely a few. So I, I might have a look at them. Uh, and also just have a drive around, because it, it was. I, I did thoroughly enjoy that line. Okay, we'll add some brakes now. Like, need a lot more brakes, train. Slow down. That's the one. Okay, two percent brakes. Okay, seven percent brakes. Should be enough. A bit of horn action. Good stuff. Okay, I think we can come off that now and get our revs up. Yeah. Get the revs up. Come on, stop building your am um, your killer pounds. Start building them up. Build them up, man. Build them up. So just cruising along, 5.5 miles to Cumberland. We've actually come a long way. We come from there. I love the first section of this route because it's just fast. And that's it. you'll notice all of my Sam Patrick Grade videos have just been up and down to Heinemann and back. They haven't been past here because it's just too slow. It takes too long. I don't like slowness. I don't like taking too long. Go a little bit more throttle. You know what I might consider doing? I might like consider going up this way and then reversing back at full power and then oh god we gotta slow down um and then yoinking that and then flying off the catch point because that'd be fun would it not I see no reason why it wouldn't be anyway gotta slow down Okay, off all of the brakes, and we'll just have a vibe here. Nice Good stuff. And I remember we've got a sub goal: 500 subs by the uh, by the 20th of May, which means there is seven days to get to 500 subscribers. No idea how many subscribers I'm on at the moment because I'm recording this like a month in advance, but. You know, the only people who can make that happen are you guys. And for everyone who is already subscribed, massive shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for making all of this possible. And, you know, if we get to 500 subs, there'll be a special coming your way where you'll all get shout outs. You'll all have a special mention if you have your subscriptions turned to public. No, if you don't, then still all props to you. Uh, on, as well as that, uh, what else is there? Yeah, getting closer to the uh, monetization levels. We've got, as a, as a channel, we've got, because I know there are a lot of you who are returning viewers. There are about 1.6 thousand returning viewers. And those are people who can't watch a video and then watch another one. 
and I've got about 4,000 unique viewers. Uh, and all of that combined, we're getting our watch time up as a channel, getting a, you know, our team watch time up, which is really good. You know, we're at, I think, 2,000... By the video, by the time this will come out, it'll be close to 2,600 watch time, uh, watch hours, which is crazy. That's absolutely mental. So thank you guys all for that. How many, as I record this, uh, we've got 2,224 watch hours. So that's going great guns. Great guns indeed. Yeah. Get back to the game. Oh, speeding a little bit. Touch brakes. Is that two little brakes? That is two little brakes. down to 35 here, it's getting a little bit slow, a little bit slow, we're three miles out so it's not all bad, considering we came from up here, so yeah, very nice, little bit. let's grab some more screenshots now that the whole train's in the sun, this side of the train's in the sun, nice. And as well as that, I was thinking I might just do some some driving around because I'm also, I'm always doing like reskin videos, but it's just strange enough, I'm running out of reskins to do, which sounds crazy, but yeah. I mean, I was hoping that the Erosa line because I knew I was running a little bit low, and I was hoping that the Erosa line would give a, a bit of a boost on that. But you know, the Erosa line livery design are broke, and the only liveries there are for that are Russian Railways, and they all break my game. Um, and there are some liveries that I really want to do, but they just break my game, like TGV Lyria, I've tried it, breaks. Uh, um, Transpalan Express for the 395, I've tried it, it just breaks the game, it just uh, gets a bug, bug report. Um, so unfortunately I can't do those, but uh, I might just do some driving around uh, in Peninsula Corridor, maybe in one of the gallery cab cars. F40PH, haven't driven them for a while, some shunting movements on, um, shunting movements on the, uh, Peninsula Corridor, and as I said, maybe some, um, maybe some Northeast Corridor, when we're on, uh, Train Sim, Train Sim World 2020. Uh, so yeah, that's all, all good stuff uh, that you should look forward to. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and stick. I've also got, uh, I forgot about this, I've got races. So there's one has already come out. I'm working on another race. As of yet, I have no idea. As I record this, I have no idea how, how well that went down with you guys. So, I mean, if it went down well, then, you know, congrats. And if it didn't go down well, then... You know, whatever. If you have any feedback, make sure you let me know, because I'm always trying to make my videos better. I'm making them for you. Um, yeah. You're my target audience, and if you're not impressed, then that's something wrong. Get off the brakes completely. Swing through one as we're going uphill, or two maybe. A little bit more on. This locomotive is really powerful. I mean, it's not the most powerful locomotive that, you know, the AC600 exists. But they just, like, the, the, um, oh, that's 25. Oh, okay. Uh, like, the F7, you just turn the bell off, the F7 is only, like, 1,500 horsepower. Which I find staggering. And then, a Tesla is, what, 500 horsepower? The so three Teslas is equal to an entire F7. One train, a little bit more independent. There it is. 
And we'll just double check the route that we're set on. Follow it round. Okay, that goes in there. That should work. Should work. That's good. Yep, all good. Oh, come on, train. I've got 1.6 miles to go. Off. Oh, I had a touch break. I had 5%. No, that's not enough. 9% break. Yep. Nice. God, I love this train. They're just so powerful. I've been looking at a few train memes, and of course I have. Um, and amongst some of them, I've noticed memes about how long American trains are, and then it's like the Australian train comes in and says, oh, that's cute. Actually, that's a real, whilst we're driving in like 300,000 kilometres to get to the end point, it's zero miles an hour, and I will longest train in the world. That's going to tell me what the longest distance is. Yeah, of course. going to tell me the Trans-Siberian Express. Um, it is longest train. BHP BHP Iron Ore. Western Australia. It is seven kilometres long, carried about 82,000 metric tonnes of iron, which is the same weight as 402 Statues of Liberty, carried by one train. 682 carriages, driven by eight locos. The entire train was 99 nearly a hundred thousand tons Jesus Christ and it has driven 273 kilometers by one driver and it took 10 hours Whew. longest train in the US is a mere 5.6 kilometers long how puny longest rail line and then I would argue a lot of people say the longest train in the world is the Trans-Siberian Express as in the longest distance but I would be arguing that the um, intermodal that, that new intermodal route that opened up between China and London would be the longest route because now there's a solid, there's a fixed railway connection between London and China I would be arguing that that freight train that was hauled from London to China is the longest train in the world because, you know, as far as I'm concerned, it pretty much is. Yeah, it's much longer than the bloody Trans-Siberian. Anyway, it's much longer than this. This is only about 100k. If that. Imagine one driver driving something this... Uh, it, literally, this a train this long... Uh, it was 7Ks, right? So it was the distance of here to here. Imagine what this game would think about that. I mean, the, the trains in this might be one mile tops, but uh, some individuals have put four mile trains on here. It's just whether the, whether the game would handle that with everything. And the truth is it won't. Right, I'll just coast through here. 1.8 miles to go. Wow, look at this. We're defining the concept of speed up. Come on, hurry up. Good stuff. Horn abuse. I love it. My favourite thing. What's the slow... Is there a slow speed control for 15? Because that'd be amazing. Um, da, 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 da. Target speed. If we go... 
plus one, plus one, 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 one. Okay, it goes to ten. Nah. Let's stick at fifteen. I'm gonna get there as fast as possible. And if that means going five miles an hour faster, I will make it go five miles an hour faster. Good stuff. What does this sign say? Speed limit, 20. How can the cars go faster than us? Also, why are the cars only going in one direction? Look at this. Let's get a screenshot as this goes. Not a screenshot, but... Oh, that was a little bit horrifying. Can we turn the... Oh, we can't make the ditch lights flash. Oh, that's a shame. Turn the bell off. Got the main running lines around the outside. I wonder what the speed for the running lines are. Let us have a look. Have a little peek. Okie doke. Anything? So through the yard, it's a 60 or a 50. But just here, it'd be virtually nothing, um, I think. What if we have a look from this side? Where's the post again? It's here, and then on the other side, it should have... So going this way, it's 40 or 30. And then I don't think there are any other subsequent speed boards. No. So why don't I have to go really bloody slowly? Are there any ways where I can join the main line? Or are they all controlled? No, they're all controlled. Of course they are. Of bloody course they are. Everything connected to the main line is controlled. Why? I don't want it to be controlled. Oh, because it has to be controlled. Because we only control things. Ha 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 ha. I thought America didn't control anything. They don't control their guns, don't control their trains, don't con uh, crazy oats. Can't control their own bloody president. Put Trump on a leash. Okay. Okay. And then we'll go brakes. All the brakes. All the brakes. All the brakes. Less brake. Completely off the brakes until we're literally, you have to be on top of it for these things to work. And there it is. Good stuff. So, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I will be back on Saturday with a video that will premiere. So, make sure you tune into that. Um, don't know what it is going to be yet. It'll probably. Actually, it'll probably be me driving in one of the gallery cab cars. Um, or something like that. I don't know yet. I don't know. Anyway, I'll see you all next time, guys, and thanks for watching. Goodbye.